Hi, today is another beautiful Florida early January or February day and today I'm going to try to replace the coolant in this uh, 2008 Ford Escape XLS it's a uh, uh, <clears throat> it's a two, uh, I guess it's a four cylinder and uh, it's pretty simple the engine is pretty simple a lot of space to work on um, there is no radiator filling cap around here it's basically a pressurized system uh, in the reservoir uh, so first thing you do is to make sure the engine is cool uh, you have your safety glasses make sure the vehicle is up on the ramp on the both wheels uh, it will help uh, take the air bubbles out uh, when the vehicle is completely cool you open up this uh, reservoir cap and um, it, it will be a little pressurized so make sure you open it gently make sure it's completely cool and then um, on the driver's side um, to open the to flush the radiator or to drain the radiator you have to go under the driver's side in the front under the radiator and in my escape there is a little plastic skid plate that you'll have to remove with a couple of bolts and it, it had about five bolts uh, maybe more but I was able to take it out and then you'll be able to access the um, a radiator drain plug that I'll show you and it also has a little nipple that you can hook up this uh, pipe to so it your coolant doesn't go everywhere and right you can see it right here where this right there right that yellow bolt right in the center of the screen where I'm trying to zoom in there you go so you need to open up that yellow bolt and it usually opens with the 19 millimeter or a three-quarter wrench or a socket and you can see Right next to it, I hooked up the plastic clear pipe. Uh, and when you open to try to open this yellow radiator flush valve, radiator drain valve, it opens uh, counterclockwise. Don't open it all the way, otherwise, it will come out. It's plastic, so be gentle with it. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'll be right back. So for this uh, 2008 Ford Escape uh, four-cylinder radiator coolant drain and fill, I'll be using a 10 millimeter to open the plastic skid plate bolts. I'll be using a three-quarter inch uh, to open the radiator um, drain valve, or also you can also use a 19 millimeter. I'll be using the Ford, um, Ford OE Gold Concentrated Antifreeze. I'll be also needing a couple of gallons of distilled water as I plan to fill and drain with the distilled water a couple of times and flush it out. Uh, clean uh, Make sure it's clean. And make sure you have your safety gear, eyeglasses, um, gloves, hard hat. And uh, I'm not a mechanic. Make sure you get all your work done by a licensed mechanic. This video is for entertainment purposes. And for me to remember what kind of mistakes I made while doing this kind of work. I do not recommend that you do this on your own and this is not a DIY video, this is just for entertainment purposes. Alright, as you can see the coolant has started coming out um, and it's pretty clear. 
make sure you catch the coolant in a bucket and as much as possible because this is a toxic material you should be able to recycle it at any auto parts store but I had a battle luck with advanced auto parts and not all the auto parts will take the coolant um, but in my neighborhood advanced auto part does so that's great advanced auto part is not a sponsor of this video but they can be we're gonna try to figure out how much coolant actually comes out and remember that and then uh, try to fill that much quantity back my plan is to once this coolant everything flushes out I'm gonna fill it up with uh, distilled water turn on the vehicle put it on high up on the heater let it run for 5-10 minutes and then flush it out again and repeat the process a few times all right so after almost 10 minutes um, the radiator is still draining after I filled it with one gallon of distilled water I haven't started the car yet um, I want this uh, <clears throat> radiator to drain out completely um, so I'm gonna give it uh, as much time as it takes to completely drape out or drain out the radiator so after about 15 minutes or so it's still dripping uh, don't rush into this uh, just give it enough time to drain it out completely don't force any air uh, for this drain uh, and fill I'm not going to use any chemicals you can use the Ford Uproad radiator um, or the cooling system flush chemical if you prefer but uh, this vehicle is almost a 12 year old and the I just do not feel comfortable using any chemicals uh, it's probably already a fragile system uh, in the cooling system so I'm not going to agitate it um, any more than it needs to be um, so just give it a time let it drain out completely on its own don't blow any air or suck it out or use any chemicals that's what I'm doing All right, the coolant has <coughs> finished emptying from the radiator on its own completely. And uh, now I'm going to shut off this radiator valve. As you can see, it's completely open right now. I'm going to shut it off uh, with hand. All right, as you can see, I have finished hand tightening the valve, and now I'm gonna fill up the radiator with uh, distilled water. It's going to take some time to get into the radiator and get the air bubble out. So just give it a time, fill it up slowly. It may take about gallon, two gallons. All 
I'm using a distilled Walmart distilled water from Walmart. It's about 79 cents a gallon. Get three or four gallons to flush out or drain out the whole system. All right, now the reservoir is completely full with the distilled water. Uh, we have shut off the shut off the fill wall. The yellow wall is completely off. And now, there it is. Let's zoom it a little bit better. All right. I'm going to start the vehicle. Um, fan will be off. It will be on the cool position when I start the car. And I'll make sure the temperature reaches up to the operating temperature. I'm leaving the radiator cap open right now. It's completely open to get the air bubble out. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to start the vehicle. Make sure it reaches the operating temperature. And once it reaches the operating temperature, once it reaches the operating temperature about right here in the middle, I'm going to start the fan on high and then after that I'll change the temperature completely on the hot position and then I'll let it run for maybe three to five minutes and then I'll reverse the process and turn off the engine uh, so <clears throat> I'm noticing that uh, when I turn on the engine with the distilled water the reservoir is completely full I'm noticing that the fan is not spinning uh, because the car is warming up I want that fan to be start spinning in order to start circulating all the coolant to the heater core and everywhere so um, when I turn on the heater inside, once the car reaches the operating temperature, this fan should be start spinning. Let's see if it does or not. Alright, it's been about 2-3 minutes. The fan is still not spinning yet. I'm going to tighten up this reservoir. Alright, the temperature inside has uh, reached the operating temperature. I'm going to turn on the fan on the high and I will raise the temperature slowly to the heater all the way. I want that coolant to start circulating through the heater core and all through the engine blocks. I want that fan to be start spinning. Let's see if it has. All right, it has been about five minutes. Uh, the fan is still not spinning yet. And the engine is still cool to touch. So, uh, this is hot, but uh, it's about uh, 75 degrees outside. Uh, so it should be start spinning. Let's wait and see. Alright, so finally after about 15 minutes, the fan has finally came on, the heater is blasting full inside, so I believe the coolant has finally started moving, I still want this pipes to be hot, let's see, I want one of these major coolant pipe to be hot it's not hot yet but it will be just wait and see all right so I have turned off the vehicle uh, after starting it uh, uh, after I filled it with the 
distilled water let it run for a few minutes as you just saw I turn it off and now I let it cool down completely again and then I was able to easily able to open uh, this radiator full up as you can see you should never able to open when it's hot always let it cool down completely and then now I'm going to reopen the radiator drain valve which is right here again that you got a wall right there well right there I'm going to open that again and let the radiator drain out completely. Alright, so the while the coolant is still dripping, um, still dripping, I'm going to start making my 50 50 coolant. So basically, this is a Motocraft Gold Concentrated OE. It's a, almost four gallons. I have marked the four gallon line. So basically, it's two. Here is a two liter mark. I have my empty, empty uh, distilled water jug. So I'm gonna pour almost uh, two liter of coolant into this jug, and then I'll fill back this back to the with the distilled water for whatever I took it out that will give me the precise 50% of one gallon 50-50 coolant alright so I have uh, took the um, coolant out to make it a 50-50 I have uh, about 50% of uh, concentrated coolant I'm gonna fill this in with a distilled water I know the line doesn't look good but uh, that's the because you are missing this part uh, so that will give me precise 50%. Alright, there it goes. I'm filling it up with the distilled water. Right there, it's about 50%. Now the radiator has completely stopped dripping. Uh, it's dripping slowly. So uh, it's just stopped completely. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna shut off the radiator drain valve. Alright, so I have shut off this uh, yellow radiator drain valve as you can see. Hopefully it will zoom in. There it is. And uh, let's make sure it's completely off. Don't over tighten it. We'll check it again later after we fill up the fluid. So uh, in the meantime. In the meantime, let's just start filling the reservoir with our 50-50 mix that we prepared. Make sure you pour it very slowly. Don't fill it outside. Don't overfill it. And the, because it is toxic, it is corrosive. Um, you wanna fill it very, very slow. 50-50 mix we just prepared. Now we filled up a reservoir completely and uh, you can see it is slowly going down as the air bubble is coming out. Uh, you do not need to do much to take air bubble out. Just pour it very very slow 
and the air bubbles will come out um, this is your fill line right here so basically let it come down and we'll fill up some more we'll start the engine the idea is to get the air bubble out and it's gonna take some time no need to do any pressure just take it easy relax and it all the bubbles will pop out all right so it's been almost uh, one week since uh, we replaced the coolant uh, I did have to refill uh, this about twice uh, as the distilled water evaporated and to balance out um, so instead of 50 50 I should have gone with uh, maybe 60 or 70 percent coolant and 30 percent of distilled water uh, but uh, it all worked out good I guess uh, uh, like I said again you should always get all work done by licensed mechanic or at the Ford dealer this video is for entertainment purposes only and basically for my memories to see uh, what kind of mistakes I made while doing this project and uh, just to have fun and I hope you learn from my mistakes have fun please subscribe if you like to see more videos like these or do comment thank you